might uh, jump to, uh, to Sarah, Sarah Hill, um, who is leading the group on innovative ideas and the wildcard group. Sarah. Thank you. Well, Microphone, please. Thank you. My apologies for being late, Minister. We had a, a wild and innovative group who uh, couldn't stop discussing key issues. So we're pretty excited to share some ideas that we hope are newer and fresh and are a bit outside the box of some of the, the common things that we've been talking about. One of the key issues is going back to the basics and actually agreeing what we want to achieve and having that alignment across various different levels of, of government and across uh, communities and across, across different industry groups. And so that key issue of alignment and an agreed way forward is, is highly important. And so that's going back to the basics, not being terribly innovative, but being, you know, getting a, a strong foundation. Evidence-based planning was incredibly important, but being innovative about ways that we do that and actually being innovative about the communities we're planning for in the future and having that knowledge and looking at examples from overseas, but also being innovative about climate change and these key issues that we, we will be facing. And then we started to get a bit wild and we started to think outside the box a little bit and we looked at different ways of planning and actually starting to change some of the, the, the processes that we have. Perhaps having one planning authority for a DA in an area. Um, perhaps actually having a building envelope rather than having prescribed FSRs and building heights for each site, but having an agreed plan that goes through the community process that is aligned um, across various different agencies and government authorities and that is evidence-based, but once that has been agreed, there is an agreed building envelope, and if you build within that, then you can speed up the process. And controversially, a large number of, of, of people in the group were, were keen to actually reduce community consultation at that latter stage subject to obviously there being community consultation at the start and that evidence base and that clear picture of what we're trying to achieve. The recognition of innovation in the industry was a key issue and, and hence development awards around good planning and about innovation in, in planning and it actually being something that's owned by the community and so development becomes less of a dirty word but good development in good places being an actual strength. Community empowerment was a key issue about conflict resolution, about engagement, about hearing the 90% of the community that aren't whinging who are actually supportive, um, and about PR of good development plans and policies. Um, some interesting ideas about a three zoning system, so a no change system, a, a zone, a, a tweaking zone where you, where you can come in and tweak things, or an all systems go, you can go in and do whatever you like, let the market dictate. A bit outrageous, but you know, we are the innovative group, the wild cards. Um, and then I think an important um, message that was coming through and was you know, a lot of passionate people talking about right at the end is about IT and how we use that and how um, you know, the system has changed since 1979. We now have the internet. Um, admittedly, not everyone does, so we have to balance that um, and be aware of our disadvantaged communities that may not. But certainly using the internet and using different overlays, using GIS, um, and also having overlays in terms of the innovative work that's being done in climate change and building that into the planning system. Also importantly, um, the economic realities and an overlay of GIS of the economic um, realities of development. So I think there's some, some key ideas that are coming out of the, the group. Another really fun one is the idea of a, a green DA fast lane. So um, you know, I'll leave that to your imagination, but there's some great ideas that came out of the group. Thank you, uh, Sarah. Um, some of those ideas, I think, uh, come out of some other states as well, because certainly the WA has the, um, has the one planning authority for rezonings, and I think uh, South East and Queensland has uh, uh, progressed the building envelope concept quite well.